Welcome back to 1.5 Minute Teaching. Today we're going to continue our discussion around moving our group or team projects online. And I'm joined by Dr. Jason Hedrick, who has a much more interesting t-shirt than I do today. He's in our Agriculture Leadership Education and Communication Department here in Kasner at UNL. Um, Jason, thanks for joining us and sharing your expertise. I know that you actually teach courses on how to build effective teams, correct? Yes, I teach uh, dynamics of effective leadership in groups and teams for both our undergrads and graduate students. Excellent. Well, we really appreciate your insights. Um, let's assume now that we have our groups in communication and it's time to start that large final project. I know you really stress having a student generated group contract before they start. Why is that important? Well, a contract is really a guiding document for your group. Um, it helps set the norms and the rules for your group, and it has those expe expectations for your team, and it allows you to really set the process. Everyone has different working styles, and so it helps kind of corral those in for everyone involved. This sounds like it's an excellent idea. It might solve some problems for me the next time I do a project, even when it's uh, in person, uh, but also works online. Now, Definitely. what might be two to three specifics that students should put in their contract? Yeah, there's a lot of things that can go in those contracts. I think one of the most important is the communication expectations. Uh, is your group gonna rely on email, text, uh, group me, carrier pigeon? What are you gonna use to communicate with one another? The other thing I think that's important is to put in um, kind of the work distribution. How are you going to distribute the work to one another? How are you going to use one another's um, st styles and, and strengths? And lastly, I think what's so important is to set goals. Obviously, you want to get a good grade, but how are you going to do that? Setting deadlines for your group and everyone can be on board with setting those deadlines just helps you with time management and also with project management. Super. I think those would solve a lot of the problems that we face with these projects sometimes. Thanks for sharing with us today, Jason. Yeah, thanks for having me today. I really appreciate it. And if anyone has further questions, just shoot me a message on Twitter and I'm glad to help out.